Love this rug. Andy is here. I'm really excited. Okay, so my rug in my house is so sad looking. It's filthy because we don't take our shoes off and we've got the kids and yeah. you know how that goes. Yeah, we do. So I've always wanted a really beautiful rug like this and I could never have anything like that at home. And even, you know, in Connor's room, I made one for him when I was doing this and I made this little cars rug for him. Aww. He's obsessed with cars. Um, and so this is all, these are all made out of blankets. And I'll show us how to do this, but I made that adorable one for him. And you can really do a grown up version like this or pattern versions or little kid versions, whatever sure. your heart desires. Yeah, well wow. I like the idea that it's made out of blankets because yeah. then you can just remove them and put them in your washing machine. And that's the whole thing. The, the way that we're doing it basically is you can either use your current rug that you have at home that maybe is dirty and you wanna cover it, you don't yeah. wanna pay to have it cleaned or the chemicals, Mark and I, you were talking yeah. about this. Yeah, it's so expensive. Like I have the, the floor rugs and you get a stain on them, you get a cleaner that come in or you gotta ship them out and they come back and they smell like the yeah, chemicals, chemicals they use. Yeah. It's just, yeah, it's just annoying. So yeah, if you've got expensive. a rug like that that's dirty, you can use that as your base and you'll buy your fabric. And basically what it is, I'm gonna show you how I did this one in the different materials that we can use. But basically you'll need a few rug pads if you don't have a rug at home. So. I'm gonna flip this up and show you. So this is the grip rug pad. You know what these are, this prevents anything yeah. from slipping, yep, right? Yep. right? Now this is a padded rug pad, it's about a half inch, and that's because we're creating this entirely from scratch. If you had a rug at home, you can avoid all of this because you're just gonna loop this over your existing rug. Sure. This is the fabric that I bought. I wanted something that was kind of like a faux fur, really like mm -hmm. luxe looking. It's look plush and luxe. Oh yeah, yeah do you just yeah. wanna like really snow nice. angel on it? Yeah. <laughs> okay, so what you're gonna do is when you cut your fabric, you wanna cut about two to three inches excess all the way around mm -hmm. because you're going to be folding it under like this. And you're gonna fold it under your rug pad. And there's no adhering to yeah, it because what, you have to take it apart? You'll be yeah. using double stick or like, you know, you can buy like 3M, the rug roll, yeah. like what you use normally yeah. to hold right. your rug down. You're gonna be using that and we did that all along here. See sure. right there? Right. Wait till you oh, get nice yeah. and close. See? So it's oh, like sure. that in every kind of random spot, but the most important area is your corners. Now you wanna fold it almost like a present. So fold this part down this way. Okay, and now you've got and, this little mm -hmm. loop. And now like this, so you have a nice crisp corner. There's Make no sure, cutting, right? No cutting. No cutting. Okay. Make sure that it's nice and even. And then you can get these. What is that? These are never curl. They are used at the edge of rugs if you have one of those pesky corners that always curls up. Right. And it has an adhesive side and then it weighs down. So basically, once you've created your, your um, proper corner here that you like, then peel off the backing and this will be really sticky. Where do you find something like that, Orly? I got it on Amazon, but they have it like anywhere. Like and what's yeah. called, Target. It's called what? Never curl. Never curl. Yeah. Never curl, okay, Never curl mm. keeps rug corners flat. Never trip, they should You could use that on your hair too, <laughs> if you got curly hair. Never and now you right. just Not put it curl. right here in the corner. Down. Never curl. And now just push down. Look at that. That's it? I love it. And so that will keep this corner nice and straight. Oh, and then you would go through here. All you would go through the straight areas and do it. And so when it's time uh, to wash it, you just pull just it off, pull it off it in the washing machine. throw it yeah, in the wash, it in. pull it back out and put those corners back down. Nice. So another really cool thing that you can do is creating shapes, right? Like, fun, yeah. like this is a, a rectangle, so that's fine, but why not create a fun shape? So I saw this amazing, really fluffy pink faux fur and I thought this would be perfect for Blake. So take a look at this photo. I laid it in half and I took spoons because how do you ever have like a giant cardboard to make a stencil? So yeah. I just took random, I mean knives, butter knives, and I made my shape of a half heart and then I cut it, I mean I put chalk so that I could see the stencil yeah. and I, um, I just chalked it out and then I cut it out. I did the same thing, like I laid this on top, this is my rug pad because yeah. even if I don't need the padding, I still need non-slip because where ultimately this is a blanket. That's where it comes from, the phrase, cut a rug. Cut a rug. Right there. Very funny. Cut a rug. <laughs> look how adorable this is. Oh my gosh. Like imagine this for a little nurse. Right? Right look at that. How <laughs> sweet, right? So you can make any shape that you want and you would just put this right That's on so that cute. rug pad. And this is really grippy, so you might not even need double stick tape, but yeah. you would want, you know, to just make sure that this doesn't move around a lot. You want to get it all perfectly laid out on top. So and this that is it all her matches. daughter's room. She's just a, how so old is Blake cute. now? Seven months. Seven months. She that would love that. That's but beautiful. The, and, and then you just follow the directions for cleaning per yes, fabric. Yes, exactly. So like when I bought, um, I bought like that blanket material, the cars one from Joann's and on the bolt it said machine wash, 
tumble yeah. dry. Fine. Yeah. Okay. I bought this downtown, and the guy at the fabric store said, you can machine wash faux fur, put it in the machine at like on cold, make sure you yeah. put it on cold, don't dry it in the in the dryer, just let it air dry, and then go in with a brush and kind of fluff it, refluff it when it's dry. Oh. How much did that cost you? This was like 20 bucks. No, no, no that would be a lot more in a store. Oh, yeah. much that more. Would be and I just want to say yeah. real quick, we made a small one because this was the space, yeah. but just to keep in mind, like this is that fabric, we could have done sewn the two sides together and made a huge one for like a great yeah. room. Yeah. You know, so that it was this and then this one would be all the way out. So just remember yeah. that this is a really great solution for like a major room and a really I big beautiful rug. It. If you're redecorating and you don't have a budget for a rug, the, the well, kids roll around. You can do this. So great. Yeah.